Hello all. Ah, my hair is sticking out. Sorry. And um, good morning. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, June 29th, 1997. Oh no, 2023. <laughs> my mind goes back to 1997 <laughs> because of, of the miraculous things that will happen over the next two weeks. Just impossible, and it happened. And I just, I'm gonna cherish that memory in those moments forever. There's some moments that I would wish I could purge from my mind, but you purge something from your mind, you could lose a lot more. It's just like chemotherapy, you know? Hey, we're gonna give you chemotherapy to get rid of your cancer. What's the downside? It's gonna get rid of you, too. <laughs> we're gonna kill the cancer by killing you. <laughs> That's the best the medical profession can come up with for the last 50 years. Good God. And again, I say it's human nature, man. When you got a lot of money coming in at, on the job that you're doing, you can get complacent. And the medical industry just seems like they don't really care about curing cancer. They just want to treat it and get paid. That's my impression. And that's it's really bad to throw a blanket over an entire group of people like that because there's there are some good ones in there, I know. But overall, the best you got is chemotherapy in, in 2023. Come on, man. Well, who's who's doing the re who's going into work today, trying to come up with a better way to cure cancer? Well, I would recommend Dr. Berg, B-E-R-G. He's really a chiropractor. He's not a medical doctor, but man, I'll tell you what. He's got like just between five and six million followers on YouTube. So people are dialing into him because a lot of what he says makes sense. Number one, there's, there's a good logic to his approach to nutrition, especially. You gotta get sugar out of your diet, man. It it is a plague on our country. You see all these obese people. The reason is it's it's the sugar intake. All you gotta do, do is go back 60, 70 years. You'll see some people that are overweight, but nothing like the the epidemic that's that's really crushing a lot of people, and it's very sad. So anyway, um, uh, yeah. So you know. You walk into any store, a dollar store, but the drugstore is the best example, the Rite Aid across the street from where I live. You walk in and immediately you're surrounded by candy and sugar and sugar and all this, this and it sells. Obviously sugar sells, so it's a good thing for business. It's a very bad thing for your nutrition when you gotta change it. And I'm finding it very difficult to completely get sugar, refined sugar out of my diet, but I'll tell you real quick. I usually get my lattes at Wawa, right? That's a Wawa latte. Yesterday I went to Dunkin' Donuts. They don't have sugar-free latte. This is the only sugar-free latte I can find anywhere. It's at Wawa. And I get it every day now, just about every day. And the cute girl that makes it for me uh, doesn't uh, interfere with much either. She's very nice. But so I go to, yesterday I go to Dunkin' Donuts and I get a regular Wawa because I'm going somewhere, I forget where, and I went on to use the drive-in. And uh, I drink this thing and then I go into the giant grocery store and I almost faint. And I go, what the hell happened? What was different about today? Oh, I had a regular latte that has all kinds of sugar in it, whereas I usually have a sugar-free latte from Wawa. Get sugar out of your diet. Anyway, um, yeah, so, yeah, June uh, 29th. Uh, 1997. Uh, I'm two days away from finding out that Steve Tudor has left Intermedia Marketing and left no forwarding phone number. Didn't say goodbye to me. Didn't say goodbye to me after working the graveyard together for over a month. You know? Okay, it's a strange character. And he was very strange. But he would come back a week later and I would track. I, I would. I went in and I saw him about a week later. I thought he was gone and he was but he came back temporarily to get some cash before he started his new job three days later at Bell Atlantic. And when I saw him, I went in on July 7th and I saw him there, I, was, I couldn't believe it because I was hoping he'd come back and say goodbye the following week or the previous week. And he didn't, and I wrote him off, and then suddenly here he is. And I went right to him. I said, Steve, what happened to you? And he says, oh, I came back and we'll work at IMM for three days before I start my new job on Thursday at Bell Atlantic. And I said, give me the name, give me the phone number, I'm gonna call him. And a long story short, I went from working two full-time minimum wage, no benefits jobs, to getting a 60% raise 
medical benefits for me and my family and six weeks of paid training six there is no company that does that anymore none you come in you get you learn on the job you know we're not going to train you but they man it, it, it just was one of those moments it's a generational opportunity it's not going to happen again because Bell Atlantic lost their monopoly and they got caught with their pants down anyway it's an interesting we've got a air quality problem here man that's not just haze it's some kind of smoke and there's like an, an air quality warning and alert today and this is the second time within the last month the first time was because of the fires up in Canada I don't know what this is from, man. It's it's awful though, and it's a warning out now. We're like at 150, and we're zero to 500 as a scale for uh, air quality. Zero is perfect. 500, if it's at 500, you're dead. <laughs> Basically, there's no air to breathe, no oxygen. Mm. So that's what's happening now, and it's the end of June, beginning of July, dog days of summer, coming up, man. July, August, and sep even September can be that way. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope it clears up. I hope the air is clean and fresh for you to breathe today. But I tell you what, with, uh, with all the cars and the diesel trucks and the diesel engines spewing, you know, there, there's eight billion with a B of people on this planet. Billion. Each billion is a thousand million. Okay, so there's a shitload of people on, the, on this planet. And a lot of them are driving. I know in this country it's insane. The number of cars on the road is insane. I think the number of cars on the road worldwide is something like 80 million, something like that. <laughs> million. <laughs> Every day, you know, burning up our atmosphere, spewing uh, carbon dioxide, all kinds of toxins into the atmosphere. So we better get on that electric vehicle bandwagon. Peace, y'all. I hope you have a great day. Take care.